We found what I think might be the most unique and interesting spot here at the Salton Sea. It was a little bit hard to find in the dark, but here we are. A man-made lake formed by an accidental inflow of water from the Colorado River in 1905. The Salton Sea has seen its share of history, from military operations to the tourist boom in the 1950s and 60s, to what now today lies a mostly abandoned and forgotten wasteland. However, if you are like us, you will still see the unique beauty that lies here. Just stopping for a quick restroom break at Desert Center. This place used to be in pristine condition and now it's all busted out. Everything's destroyed. We're gonna come back during the day and kind of check it out because last time we were here, this place was locked up and the cafe right there was locked up, but now everything's just busted out, which is a shame, but you know, that happens with abandoned stuff. But we'll come back and check it out. Right now we're just trying to get to the Salton Sea. It's already dark, so it's gonna be kind of tough finding our spot. quite to where we're camping for the night but we decided on the way to stop at one of our favorite places which is Bombay Beach so we're gonna head in and check out this town a little bit and then continue on down the road. Bombay Beach is a popular spot. A lot of people come from all over to come here. It's known for its unique art. There's a lot of new art popping up but unfortunately it seems like a lot of the old art is disappearing. A couple years ago this was one of the most popular spots a couple art installations and some abandoned trailers. Some of the weirdest things that you've ever seen all lit up at night. Truly one of the best places here. check it out during the day but it used to be all lit up so Brittany's trying to navigate us through this area that we found last time we were here with this like rare rock of sea it's like black glass and it looks really neat, but I'm trying to find it in the night. Well, we made it to our first spot at the Salton Sea. And it's actually by all the thermal power plants, which is pretty neat. Little D, you done driving? You ready? Are you ready? We're finally here. What about you, Rebel? Everyone's hmm? ready. Especially kid. It's been a long day. Everyone's tired. We're going to bed. No dinner, no nothing. We're just going to bed. Wake up, make breakfast, and see what this place really looks like. So we woke up this morning, and this is not the spot that we were at last time. So we are actually going to head out and try to find it because we think it's over there a little bit. And yeah, this one's cool, but there's a lot of hunters coming around, and we don't want to be in their space. And I think the spot that we found last was more private. So this area has a lot of this volcanic glass here, which is called obsidian. And the way that it's formed is when the volcanic stuff comes out and it gets rapidly cooled, such as being by water like this, it turns into this volcanic glass. The Sultan Buttes, a group of volcanoes still considered as being active, are located within the Salton Sea geothermal field. This is the second largest geothermal area in the United States and includes 11 active power stations. All 
Also along the Salton Sea's southeastern shore, you can find the Sunny Bono National Wildlife Refuge. This time of the year, a small portion of this area is heavily used by waterfowl hunters, who can access the hunting area both by land and by water. Getting this fire going and about to cook up some nice ribeyes over some charcoal. And it's just an absolutely insane night here. Peace and quiet, nobody's around. And there's a lot of campers around the Salton Sea right now. This is winter time, prime spot for people to come, you know, get out of the snow. And we're out here by ourselves. So definitely gonna enjoy this dinner and just kind of relax. We had a long drive yesterday and looking forward to just chilling for a couple days. Pretty much have this place to ourselves. We just had dinner, um, steak and potatoes basically. No vegetables, steak and potatoes on the grill. It was amazing and it's been a quiet night. Not a single person has showed up anywhere around us. Our little deal is I do all the cooking and then Brittany does <laughs> the dishes. That sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Yeah. I don't mind that deal at all. It's important when you live in a small space to kind of, you know, split the duties. Tomorrow when we wake up, we'll go check out more of this area and then probably the day after that, we're gonna head on around the lake and see what else we can find. It's crazy that this sea happened by a huge mistake, that it's not supposed to be here, but yet it's been here for all of these years and kind of turned into its own little thing. I'm surprised that the state of California has not turned this area into like a super fun site because of the harmful contaminants that the dust kicked up and that kind of stuff. But they say that the water is actually clean enough that you can swim in it and stuff like that. and seeing all these hunters out here, out on the water with their dogs jumping in and out. I just hope that it's okay and safe. Now this is a big geothermal area and I don't know if this has anything to do with that, but it is a source of fresh water that's coming out and actually feeding this whole area back into the sea. So it's creating a nice little habitat for all of these little birds and I think it might be helping bring some of those birds back. It used to be a really big migration spot for thousands and thousands of birds. They've seen it kind of decline and now I think that it looks to me like it's starting to come back. Obviously if they're hunting out here for birds, they most likely are coming back so I guess that's a good thing. Today we're leaving and it's shower day so we like to get a shower in. And one of the reasons why we chose this camper is because it has an actual shower on a shorter camper. This is only a six foot camper, right? Uh, yeah, six and a half. Feet. Six and a half foot camper and it has a full shower. We're all showered up. We gotta go into town, do a few errands. And that's one of the challenging things about living on the road is finding everything that you need. Water, uh, laundry, that kind of stuff. As you can see, this is kind of like what it's like when you're showering and, you know. It's kind of a wreck. It's kind of a wreck, yeah. It is what it is when you live in such a small space. The fact that we have a shower is very important to us. I know a lot of people seem to think it's not very important, but being full time on the road for seven plus years now, it's kind of like a thing that we like to have our own shower once a week because it gets pretty pricey. I mean, Brittany found a shower and it was 17 bucks per yeah, person. At the, at the truck stops, it's $17 a person to shower. So it's pretty nice to have our own, especially today's pretty chilly outside. So I know a lot of people just do a shower outside with those solar bags or whatever. But when it's cold and windy out, it's really nice to have our own right inside the camper. That being said, it's time to pack everything up, make sure we're all good and then hit the road because our next spot is a spot that we love very much. The abandoned naval base here on Salton Sea, which if you guys haven't seen it before, it's definitely something you want to check out while you're here.
So after doing all of our errands, we did not make it in time. We are going to try to navigate through the dark and this area of the Salton Sea, which is the abandoned naval base, to try to find our spot that we're going to stay for a couple days. It's one of our favorite spots. We've actually been on this road probably a hundred times and we should be able to find our way. It is a little weird that the sign has always said, it's not anything new, it's always said this, that there could be unexploded ordnance in this area. So basically they're saying, look, there could be a bomb out there. <laughs> you could explode. But I'm pretty sure that a bunch of people drive on this all the time, including us, and I don't think it's an issue. So don't be fooled by this sign. Are you excited? Mm-hmm. It's one of my favorite spots. Let's go. Driving at night through an abandoned military base that used to do nuclear weapons testing can definitely get you thinking. The possible dangers are outweighed by the excitement. We officially made it to our favorite spot at the Salton Sea, the abandoned naval base. And uh, Tomorrow morning we'll kind of explore around here a little bit. It's late, we are tired. It wasn't hard at all to find it. We've been here several times, like Jay said, so we pretty much just followed the path that we knew we had taken before, and here we are. I think I'm gonna end the video here because there's a lot going on in this area, and if I were to keep filming, it would be a super long video. So I think this is a good stopping point. We're pretty excited to be here and gonna be exploring this whole thing. And really we're just waiting on springs for our truck. We had some custom springs made for this thing and yeah, we need them. So we're kind of waiting for that. We're supposed to be in Mexico by now, but you know, life, life stuff happens, but we're out here enjoying our time anyways. And I think it's gonna be a good good little series here so if you're interested in the salt and sea make sure you subscribe but until next time you can check out this video that youtube's recommending you and thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next one